In this tutorial, we're going to talk about two pretty important things in terms of getting a little more performance out of your WordPress installation on Bluehost. First, we're going to talk about enabling PHP 5 Fast CGI. This isn't default. This is something that you have to do uh, in your system. Additionally, we're going to talk about enabling Zlib compression. This is a great way to uh, boost the speed and performance of your WordPress site. So what we're going to do now, once we've logged into Bluehost, uh, where we have access to our cPanel, go ahead and scroll down, and what we're going to look for is the following, PHP config. So under software slash services, look for PHP config, and go ahead and make a selection there. Now the next thing you want to do is generally you're going to have a PHP 5 single, line, or single PHP INI. This is generally going to be default. So what you want to do is you want to click on PHP 5, where it says in parentheses fast CGI. So this is going to be handled uh, faster uh, than the uh, default uh, PHP settings. So of course I already have this enabled. Um, so what you want to do is click, once again, PHP 5 fast CGI. Go ahead and click Save Changes, and then you'll notice there's kind of a two-step process here, and I fouled this up the very first time I did it, um, but what, what you have to do is you have to actually install a new PHP INI master file. So you can see a little button here that says Install PHP INI master file. Go ahead and click on that setting, and once you do that, you'll see Successfully Installed, and it shows that you've, in fact, installed the new uh, PHP settings. Well, what we have to do now, there's one third uh, and final step to make sure that uh, we enable this fast CGI. What we're going to do is we're going to return back to the cPanel, and what we're going to do is go down to the File Manager, go ahead and click on File Manager, and we'll go ahead and select Web Root, go ahead and click Go. And what we need to do now is we need to rename that uh, PHP INI file. So what you want to do in your Web Root is you want to scroll down until you find uh, the following, php.ini.default. So you can see right above it, we have PHP INI. What we need to do is take this new default uh, file that we just wrote, and we need to rename that to overwrite PHP INI. So what you're going to do, click on the default file here. We're going to go to rename, and what you want to do is just simply backspace and uh, you want to have this read php.ini, that's all it should say. Go ahead and click Rename File, and what you want to do now is you just want to refresh the page, and when you do that, you'll notice that there'll only be one php.ini file, and you've successfully, at this point, you've now installed PHP 5 Fast CGI, and you'll get a little more uh, performance, especially when serving pages dynamically in WordPress meaning if you don't have any cache plugins. We'll talk about that in another tutorial. Now the next part of this tutorial, the next thing we wanted to accomplish was to enable uh, Zlib compression. Now this isn't on by default. This is something that you have to do. And we're going to use that same file, the php.ini file. So what we're going to do now that we're in this particular uh, workspace, we're going to go ahead and go to the code editor. So I've selected the file. I'm going to click on code editor and this is going to let, it, let us edit the code in that particular file. So let's go ahead and click Edit, and it's going to bring up a new window here. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, and let me tell you what line this is on. Uh, we are going to scroll down to line 171. Uh, this should generally be the, the target area uh, where you'll be able to find uh, this particular uh, control here. And what you want to look for is the following, Zlib output compression equals off. So basically we have to turn on Zlib output compression and then we can also control a specific level. So what we're going to do at this point is I'm just going to click where it says off. I'm going to go ahead and backspace and just put an N so we can uh, have this read on. So what I'm going to do is put zlib.output underscore compression equals on and I'm going to go ahead and click save changes and we've just enabled um, Zlib compression so I'm going to go back and click Continue Editing PHP.ini. Now there's one other little control that you have. So I'm going to scroll back down to line uh, 171. And what we want to look for is uh, the compression level. Now there's, I've gotten varying uh, sort of opinions on which is the best level to establish uh, your compression. So negative 1 is, uh, means basically let the server determine what is best uh, the best compression method uh, to serve these files. 
I like to override that, and it's my preference to go and put in 9, which is the highest level of compression. So think of this as negative 1 equals uh, let the server make decisions, um, and then 1 through 9 is kind of a different scale in terms of compression. So I like to kind of shift a lot of this back to the browser, so I'm going to go ahead and enable that as 9. So we've turned this on, we've set the uh, compression level to 9, click Save Changes, and now we are done. We have enabled uh, Zlib compression in our file.